Hello everyone, we are Fossil Laser. Today, we will show you how to use the rotary. This is the rotary. Yeah, this is the key. And this is the holder. Number two, number one. Now, uh, next, we will show you how to put the, this uh, holder on the rotary. Let's see the it's a auto holder. It's number one, number two. Number three, yeah, this three holder. Okay, next we show you how to install this three holder on the rotary. Let's put this three holder one by one. Follow the number on rotary. Number one holder put in the position one. Number two holder put in the position two. And number three holder put in the number three. Make sure it's all holder exactly in the right position, because this uh, holder is three different holder. After this three holder in position, and turning the, turning the key in clockwise to lock this three holder on the rotary. Yeah, this is the uh, inside holder can catch this cap from inside. Next, we show you another tab, the holder from outside. Yeah, also, we have to check the number on this holder, number one, two, three. For the number on the rotary, make sure it's in the right position. Yeah, same as last one. Lock this three holder on the rotary. Setting up, locking this uh, cap, stable. Are you ready to mark it now? Next, we will show you how to adjust this angle to marking this, uh, how to adjust this angle, how to marking on cone shape of a decade. I will see the cup is a not right cylinder cup. It's like a cone shape shape. You can select this bolt. And another one. Yeah. Now this rotary head is select. You can adjust this angle. Better, you can use a power raising ruler, yeah, level ruler, to check this uh, surface is on the power raising level. Then tighten up the bolt. Make this upper surface on the power raising level. Yeah, now it's uh, ready to mark in. Next, we will show you how to connect this rotary cable to main control box. Yeah, put uh, the rotary cable connect to the second second one socket. It's a uh, name rotary. Rotate. Yeah, second one. Let's put it in this position. Heading up. Connection is ready. Next step, we show you how to marking a text on stainless cylinder by rotary. Let's input a text. Now we change this text to our company name, Buster Laser. Apply it and click the origin, send this letter to the middle of the screen. Then click the hatch. Change the line speed to 0 0.08 millimeter. And uh, click OK, fill up black color. Now you can click the keyboard, uh, control and uh, left arrow to turn this word uh, along this y axis on the right side of your screen you can see uh, there 
some parameter, we change the speed to 500 millimeter per, per second, and the power we set is uh, to 30 percent, and the frequency is uh, 30 percent. We already tested this. this parameter is good for uh, our material. Next, click the laser, select the rotary text mark, parameter, click the enable, do not select the inward, yeah, select the y axis, because uh, we use the, X, the y axis this time, the pause, uh, we select uh, 1 to 800. Yes, rotate access, and the part diameter we input 80 millimeter because uh, we already measure this cylinder uh, diameter is uh, 80 millimeter. It's very important part. Please confirm it. It's uh, confirmed with your cylinder diameter. Click the right. You can see the box on cylinder. Before marking, you have confirmed this focus length is okay. For this, for this length, this focus length is 160 millimeter. We are already tested. This focus length is okay for us. Next, we start marking. Foster liquor. Foster laser. You can see the effect is good, right? Very good marking job. Foster laser. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. OK, everyone, next step, we show you how to marking this uh, vector picture uh, by rotary on a stainless cylinder. First, the input uh, vector file to this software. We have uh, one company logo, it's a Victor picture. It's a poster laser equipment. Now the thin this uh, picture uh, on clockwise because we use uh, this rotary on the uh, right side of this uh, working table. You can uh, choose another, di another direction. Uh, change the size uh, to 40 by 70 millimeter and click the origin. Send this picture to the middle of the screen. Then click the hatch. Uh, see some parameter. Uh, line speed, so we made uh, 0 0.08 millimeters. And I click OK. Now the picture is filling up by black color. After you can see uh, on the right side of the screen, um, parameters we can make some setting, uh, like the speed uh, we made uh, 500 per second, and the power we made uh, 20 percent. Next, uh, click the laser button on top of the screen and uh, click the rotary mark. Yeah, you can see the control screen and select the enable. We don't select the, the invert because we use uh, this Y axis and put the rotary on the right side of the working table. Now we select the Y axis and uh, the post. We select uh, 12,800 and the rotary excess. We input the uh, 99 millimeter because we just uh, calibrate uh, this uh, diameter of this cylinder. Diameter is uh, 99 millimeter. We, we input the 99 millimeter and confirm it. Yeah, select the false or slipped because uh, this is a picture picture. Uh, we 
this uh, marking machine marking is uh, have to cutting to several part. Every part we made is uh, one millimeter, and uh, we click the red button. You can see a red light on the cylinder. Uh, yes, yeah, small red box is wide is one millimeter. Next, uh, we select mark button to start marking job on the cylinder. Before marking, we have to confirm this focus lens is ready to marking. Now we use this uh, field lens. Its the focus lens is uh, 160 millimeter. It means from this uh, field lens to this object lens is uh, 160 millimeter. Uh, we test this. This uh, focus lens is okay. So do not forget this. This is very important. Okay, now we start marking. Click the mark button or F2 button on keyboard. This is our company logo, first laser. Quiet, high precision, and a good job, right? This is our laser machine. Only doing good job. Was done. Nice, yeah. Fun, fun work, right? Both the laser. Thank you, everyone.